please do subscribe to our nehra classes youtube channel and also turn on the bell notifications to receive the updates of our videos directly in your device hello friends i vikas nehra welcome you all to our nehra classes youtube channel in today's tutorial we will learn how can we copy or clone all permissions from one file or directory to other in linux in this method we can directly clone the permissions of one file or directory to other including the special permissions like acl by just running few commands we don't need to manually change the permissions one by one by running only few commands we can directly clone or copy the permissions from one file or directory to other so without wasting time let's get started to show you the working of this method i will first use this method on files where i will copy the permissions of one file to other and then i will show you how can you use this method on directories so let me create two files here in tmp directory with the names as source and destination destination source file will be used as the source where i will copy the permissions of this file and i will apply these permissions on the destination file that i have just created now let me change the permissions of the source file first chmod 644/tmp source so i have changed the permissions on the source file here you can see that it is having read write permission for the user only read permission to the group and only read permission for the others now let me apply the special permission as well so i'm going to apply acl here on this file so i'm going to execute set fsl command for that set fsl hyphen m then user whom i want to give the permissions let me mention vikas nara here i want to give him full permissions so i'm going to mention here read write and execute and the file name that is slash tmp slash source now i will verify all these permissions by running the get fsl command get fsl slash tmp slash source and here you can see the permissions only the user is having the read write permission while the user vikas nara is having the full permissions and for others there are only read permission no matter if he is in the group or not now i'm going to use these permissions i'm going to copy these permissions to the destination file but before that let me show you the permissions that are actually available on the destination file let me show you the permissions by running ls hyphen l slash tmp slash destination command and here it is having read write for the owner only read permission for the group and only read permission for the other users so i'm going to change these permissions first i'm going to provide no permission to anyone on this file again verify the permissions so here you can see that no permission is there for any user means this file is having no permissions now in the next step what we will do we will first create the backup of the permissions of the source file or we can copy the file permissions to one file which we will use to clone these permissions for that we will execute get fsl command get fsl hyphen capital r and then the name of this file slash tmp slash shores and we are going to save it in one file with the name as permission file or perm file here we have created a file with the name as perm file which has the permissions of slash tmp slash source file let me 
list this file this is the file which is just created and if you will have a look at the permissions or if you will open this file you will see the details it will exactly show you the exact details of the permissions of the source file now in the next step we will clone these permissions to clone these permissions on the other file we will execute set fsel command set fsel hyphen hyphen set hyphen file after that we will mention the name of the file which we are going to use to copy these permissions in our case the name is perm file and then the name of the destination file on which i am going to apply these permissions or on which we are going to apply or we are going to clone these permissions so in this case the file name is slash tmp slash destination we will press enter here now the permissions have been changed we will verify by running ls hyphen l slash tmp slash destination command and here it shows the modified permissions let me verify it let me compare it with the source file permissions here you will find the exact same permissions on both the files we can also verify this by running get fsel command get fsel slash tmp slash destination here you will find that this file is now having only read write permission for the user full permission for the user vikas nehra and only read permission for the group and others while earlier there were no permissions present on this destination file so here we have successfully copied the permissions of one file to other now i'm going to show you how can you use this method on directories for that i'm going to create two directories here in my home directory with the name as test1 and test2 on test1 we have exactly the same permissions which we are having on the test2 directory so first let me change the permissions of this test1 directory here i'm going to provide the full permissions and i will verify the same by running ls hyphen ld command ls hyphen ld test1 and it shows that we have full permissions on this directory now i'm going to apply the acl as well set fsel hyphen m u vikas nehra and here i'm going to provide only read write permission to this user test1 i'm also going to provide the permission to the group as vikas nehra as read write and execute and now in the next step i will verify these permissions by running get fsel command get fsel test1 and here you can see that user is having the full permissions vikas nehra is only having read write permission the group vikas nehra is having the full permissions and the others also having the full permissions on this file now in the next step we will change the permissions for the next or the test2 directory so we will execute chmod command chmod 000 test2 let's verify the permissions on this directory there are no permissions on this test2 directory now now in the next step we will clone the permissions from test1 to test2 to copy or clone the permissions we will execute get fsel command get fsel hyphen r the source file name or the source directory name that is test1 and we can save it by the name of a file like we can mention the name as new.txt we have saved it now in the next step we will apply these permissions by running set fsel set fsel command we will use here set fsel hyphen hyphen set hyphen file then we will mention the file name that is new.txt in our case and the directory name that is test2 that is the destination directory 
now we will verify the permissions on the destination directory ls ld command and here you will see that the permissions have been modified and now it is having the full permissions and as well as the acl is set here let's compare it with the original file or the source directory here it has the exactly same permissions and we will also verify the same by running get fsl command get fsl test 2 and here it shows the exactly same permissions which we have set on the test 1 directory here the full permission for the owner and the group and the others but for the Vikas Naira user it is only having the read write permissions so in this way we can easily clone the permissions from one file or directory to other in Linux this method can be used by the Linux admins to save the time and effort especially there on the files and directories which are having multiple special permissions or multiple ACL entries we can easily clone the permissions from one file to other as required so I hope you will find this video useful if you like it then do share it with your friends and colleagues and if you are new on our channel then please subscribe us and turn on the bell notification to receive the updates of our videos directly in your device. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, bye-bye. Jai Hind. Vande Matram.